Okay, I'm gonna go on mute. I'll count us down. So five, four, three, two, one. Let's hit start. Like you said, long time no see. <laughs> so have a seat, whether that's legs in front of you or cross-legged. Let's sit up nice and tall. Let's close our eyes and begin to forget about everything you did over the weekend. Don't think about everything you have to do today, the rest of the week, whatever. And let's start with three centering breaths together. So let's breathe in through the nose. Feel your chest expand and your shoulders rise. And now the out breath. Breathe out through your mouth. Feel the air leaving your lips, your shoulders sinking down. All right, once again, let's breathe in through the nose, lengthening your spine a little bit more, and then continue to settle down. Long breath. All right, last breath together. Let's breathe in through the nose. And then breathe out through your mouth. Really relax now. And you can resume a normal breathing pattern. Okay, relaxing our whole body, top to bottom. And your forehead and your face, down to your neck, shoulders, through your arms. Okay, you can pay attention to how your chest expands and contracts if you're breathing here. Maybe paying attention to how your belly goes in and out. Same thing. And let's take a moment to pay attention to your touch points. So your hands maybe on your knees, they can be clasped in your lap, where your bottom touches your mat your shin touches your feet and in turn touches the mat. And then we're going to take a few moments just focusing in on your breath. It could be where your breath feels the strongest for you. Once again, that could be your chest expanding, contracting. It could be where the air touches the space between your nostrils and your lips. It doesn't matter, just focus in on your breath. Once again, we're using our breath as an anchor point, a focal point. You might hear things around you in the rest of your house. But come back to the breath. You could be thinking about something. Or just realize that you're thinking about that or listening to something around you. Just come back to your breath. Right, once again, coming together. And then our last little bit, I want you to let go of everything, let go of the breath. If you are hearing something, think about something, I want you to just sit, do nothing at all.
All right, let's take one last deep breath in and hold it at the top. You hear me play the singing bowl. You can breathe out and open up your eyes. So continue to hold your breath. Ooh. Open up our eye and hop off the block. Let's start with a sitting side stretch. So let's take our arms and reach up and look up. Let's turn the right side this week, planting the right palm of the mat. Left arm is reaching overhead and feel the stretch go all the way down the left side. Turn the chin up towards the elbow or the inside of the elbow, rather. Continue to reach with your fingertips. Feel the stretch go even deeper all the way down to your hip. And then let's take the right palm off the mat, reach the right arm up. And then let's work our way down the left side, feeling the stretch down the right side. Okay, reaching, looking up. Ugh. And as you breathe out, continue to reach a little bit more. Okay, it's the same with every stretch. Out breath means get deeper in each stretch. All right, and then let's reach the left arm up. Give me a little mini reach to the ceiling. And then as you breathe out, let's return the hands to heart center. And then we'll get a sitting, uh, I'm sorry, a, uh, the one where you plant the left palm on the right knee. Plant the right palm on the floor behind you. Okay, turning the chin into the right shoulder. Feeling the spine twist clockwise. All right, and then let's unwind, coming back to center. Let's get the left side. So push into the left knee with the right palm. My left fingertips and my left palm is pressing into the floor. Getting every little twist, every last degree I can out of my spine. And then we'll come back to center. And let's do our cobbler pose. So soles of the feet together in front of us. Pull your feet in, let the knees drop down. Then just lean forward like a hinge. Okay, feel that two hour run from yesterday or bike ride, whatever. Same, same. Okay, maybe with your hands around your feet, pull yourself in, but keep the spine straight to start. We're going to round out our backs at three. Two, one, reach the arms forward, slide the fingertips on the floor in front of you. I have these tiny little floorboards. And I always like to see if I can reach the next, the edge of the next floorboard. Ooh. Okay, keep rounding out your back, see how far you can reach. And then we'll come out in three, two, one. Let's sit back up. Oh, let's do some 90-90s where we drop our knees side to side. Okay. You can go at your own pace, whatever feels good. I'll also call it my own. If you want to go at my pace, I'm going to switch to the left. Oh. Come back to the right. Back to the left for me. Back to the right. I'm going to do five sides each time. This is number three for the right. 
over to the left. Ooh. Okay, number four on the right. On to the left. And we got one more cycle for each side. I'm going to hold this one a little bit longer. So, last time on the right. And we'll move on to our last time on the left. Nice. All right. Let's stand up. Let's do our hamstrings. This one's going to be scary. All right. Super wide stance, toes facing forward. Let's reach up to start because we're gonna swan dive forward. Ooh, okay. You can get your hands or palms on the floor. See if you can push yourself towards the back of the room. Legs are straight, feeling the hamstrings. Breathing, settling in with each breath. All right, let's fold our forearms, and drop a little bit lower if that's comfortable for you. Rock side to side a little bit. Okay, we're still rocking side to side or just holding it, whatever's comfortable. We'll add the palms in a second. Okay, my hamstrings feel really tight this morning. So we're going to hold it for a few more breaths. Remember, we always do it feels good. All right, I'm going to plant my right palm on the floor right in front of my face and open up my chest while I rotate my left arm up towards the ceiling. Okay, my left palm is open. My fingertips are reaching. And I'm thinking... But that vertical line I'm creating with my arms, turning my chin up towards the ceiling as well. All right, let's take one deep breath in. And as you exhale slowly, reach the or bring the left arm back down, switch palms. Okay, right arm and right fingertips are reaching up towards the ceiling. Remembering to turn the chin up towards the ceiling as well. Good, hamstrings are starting to open up a little bit. They're starting to feel happy. And then as you breathe out, bring the right arm down. Okay, and from here, we are going to rotate towards the right and do a lunge or runner's pose. So the right knee is tracking over the right ankle. Fingertips are barely touching the mat. And then we're gonna do a runner stretch. So plant the palm the left side of the right foot. Dropping your pelvis down, feel that right hamstring a little bit more. All right, from here, let's drop the left knee down and untuck the back toes. We're gonna reach the arm up. Okay, I'm going for a hip flexor, so rotate the hip forward. You should feel your left hip flexor or left hip however you want to think about it. It's kind of like the crescent, like crescent pose, but the back knee is down. Okay, opening up that left hip, we'll get the right hip after this. Before we do, we can bring the arms back down. Okay, get back onto the toe, we're back in runner's pose, fingertips barely touching the mat. And then let's rotate back to center. So rotate 90 degrees, legs are straight, we're engaging both hamstrings. And then let's rotate towards the left. Okay, runner's pose on this side, left knee is tracking over the left ankle. 
And then we'll come to runner stretch. So plant both palms on the right side of the left foot, dropping our pelvis down, okay? The back knee is still off the mat right now. Feeling the left hamstring. All right, and then let's drop the right knee down, untuck the right foot. Let's reach up on this side as we rotate the hip forward, feeling the right hip flexor. Okay, pulling from the top and the bottom, that's why the arms are up. And you can even lean forward a little bit for a little extra something something. Oof. Okay, give me a little last little bend, last little reach for the right side. And then we'll drop the arms down as we get back on back toes. Right knee is off the mat. We're back in runner's pose. And then let's rotate 90 degrees to the right, back to our starting position, torso and arms are loose, the legs are straight. And I'm gonna do a slow 10 count, let's straighten up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, bring the feet together. All right, let's do Malasana. So find medium stance. Toes are out about 45 degrees. You can start with hands at heart center and just lower yourself down. Okay, see how the weekend feels. Or how, rather how your legs feel from the weekend. Feel free to rock side to side if that's comfortable. Oof. Only three weeks out, so hopefully your legs don't hurt too bad. <clears throat> Pretty glad I didn't sign up for that race. Whew, relief. All right. And then we can place our hands on our knees and get ourselves up and out of that one. All right, right, let's. right, we're going to do a quad stretch because my quads feel pretty tight. I'm going to start by standing on the left foot. Let's grab the right foot with our left hand. Okay, knees should be aligned. Push your hip forward. You should feel the right quad. Okay, if you want, you can reach the arm up, whatever balance posture works for you. I know different things work for different people. But really push your hip forward. I want you to feel your quad all the way or as deep as you can. And we'll let go in three, two, one. All right, let's get the other side. So standing on the right foot, and then I'm gonna hold the wall just for a little balance. But same thing, grabbing the left foot with the right hand, pushing your pelvis forward. Oof. Okay, give yourself one last push forward. And we'll let go in three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, we're back on both feet. We're gonna get a standing side stretch. So bring the feet and legs together, stand up nice and tall, reach the arms up. And let's start on the left side this time. So left arm is down, kicking out the right hip. Okay, looking up. Right arm should be above your head, reaching for the upper left hand corner of the room. It's the slightly harder version of the, of the one we did earlier. Yeah, I really feel that in my hip, extending all the way up my side. It feels great. Ugh. All right. And then we're going to bring that left arm up to the top or left hand. I'm going to drop my right arm down to my right side as I kick out my left hip. And there's no bend at my elbow. Straighten up your forearm if you notice there's a slight bend. 
And reaching with those left fingertips, staring at a stationary spot on my ceiling. Okay, reach, 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 reach. And then we're gonna bring the right arm back up top. And as you breathe out, the hands come to heart center. And let's get another one for our hamstrings. So let's do the split leg hamstring stretch. I'm gonna start my left. So left toes are facing forward, my heels are in line. Let's reach up towards the ceiling. We're gonna swan dive forward. Keeping the front leg straight, drive the right hip towards the front ankle. You can support yourself by placing your hands on the ground, placing your hands on your ankle, your shin, however flexible you are. Maybe drop your head down or the crown of your head down towards the ceiling. And we're feeling the left hamstring. All right, and then let's bend the front knee and come on up. Okay, I'm gonna rotate to my other side. You can also switch legs if you don't wanna switch sides. Doesn't matter, it'll achieve the same thing. But arms are up top, right leg is straight. We're gonna swan dive down over the straight right leg. Seems to be sounds of life in the rest of my house. But let's drive the left hip towards the right ankle. Really feeling the right hamstring. Oof. All right, and then to come on out, let's bend the right knee and bring the torso up. Oh, and then we'll get our necks. So let's grab the left wrist behind our back. Let's drop the head to the right side. Okay, see how close you can get your ear, your right ear, your right shoulder. And then let's roll the head forward. And then let's roll the head back, looking up. And then let's roll the head back to neutral position and back up top. And let's swap arms. So we're grabbing the right wrist, dropping the head down to the left. Really noticing where that stretch is on the right side of the neck. All right, and then rolling the head back. Let's get the front. Uh, let's roll that head forward as we look down. Okay, back to just the left, and then bring your head back to center. And then we'll get our shoulders. Whew. So let's. I'm gonna. Bring my left arm across the top of my chest. Okay. We're gonna do uh, some sudden salutations. So let's get the shoulders and triceps ready. Oof. All right, let's switch arms. My arms, for some reason, feel more Sore after yesterday's swim than a normal Sunday swim. I guess open water is a, is a little different than pool swimming. All right, let's release the right arm. Let's get the left tricep. So left arm is behind the head. We're pulling on the left elbow. Maybe get your head out of the way of the arm. Feel the left tricep. And then 
let's switch arms. Right arm is behind the head, pulling on the right elbow. All right. And then let's release. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. Let's start our moving option. So come to the front of your mat. Straighten mine out slightly. Yeah, let's bring the feet together. Stand up nice and tall. Let's start with two practice swan dives. So reach the arms up and then swan dive down. Reach it to the ground. Reach it for your toes. Come up to flat back. And then as you exhale, round out the back and then reverse swan dive until your hands are at the top. Okay, we're gonna do two of those. That's one. Swan dive down. Nice and fluid move in the movement. <clears throat> Come up to flat back, rest your hands under your shins or your knees. And then as you breathe out, round out your back, eyes up, head up, reverse swan dive. And then let's start swan dive down. Okay, this third time should be nice and limber with the legs, limber with the hamstrings. Come up to flat back. <clears throat> and then as you breathe out, let's plant both palms on the mat. Step back to plank. And then let's uh, chaturanga down and do an upward dog. Okay, push the floor away on top of the feet. Back to plank. Give me a push up here as we come into downward dog. <clears throat> let's focus on the calves. So. Bend the left knee and drive that right hip, uh, heel down to the mat. And feel the right calf get longer as it stretches out. <clears throat> and then let's switch sides. So bending the right knee, driving the left heel down. All the while pushing the floor away with the arms. The palms. Okay, switch sides. And this is why we stretched our triceps and our shoulders earlier, getting ready to push the floor away and down the dog. And then we're gonna we're gonna come back to the left calf, left side. And straighten both knees. Let's do our crescent pose. So let's bring the feet together. Let's start the left leg up in the air, left heel up in the air, and then swing the left leg forward and plant in front of us. Bring the arms and torso up. Front knee is tracking over the front ankle. We're feeling the left leg hold us up. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor and the right heel is reaching for the mat as our arms are reaching for the ceiling. I'm gonna drop our hands to heart center as we transition to prayer twist on the left. Hands are stacked, right elbows pressing into the left knee. All right, and then I'm gonna return back to crescent pose, arms are up. And then as you exhale, let's bring the torso and arms back down, plant both palms, the left leg comes back to plank. Then we're gonna chaturanga down into our upward dog. And let's add a sudden salutation here. So return to plank, then step the feet towards the hands, and then reverse swan dive. Our hands are at the top. Swan dive down, up to flat back. And then exhale, plant both palms, step back to plank, and let's chatter on go once again into our upward dog for just a moment. Back to plank, add a push up here if you'd like, into downward dog. And then let's get the uh, crescent pose on the right side. So feet together, float that right heel up into the air, then swing the right leg forward and plant it in front. As we come to crescent pose on the right, front knee is tracking over the front ankle, back heels reaching for the mat, arm.
arms are reaching up for the ceiling. That left hip flexor is feeling nice and happy. I'm going to take a drink of water. You stay there. All right, back to crescent pose. I'm going to come into prayer twist on the right for just two breaths. That's one. That's two. I'm going to return back, reaching up for crescent pose. Okay, I'm going to reach with my back heel down to the mat, really feeling my left hip flexor here. It's starting to feel nice and happy. I'm going to exhale as I bring my hands back down, plant both palms, right leg comes back to plank, and let's chaturanga down into an upward dog. Let's do our sun salutation back to plank, stepping the feet towards the hands, and then reverse swan dive. Hands are at the top. Boom, swan dive down. Come on up to flat back. Then exhale, rounding at the back, planting both palms, returning to plank. Let's chaturanga down into our upward dog. Back to plank. Give me a push up if you're if you want to into downward dog. And let's do our warrior sequence. So back on the left side, feet together. Float the left heel. Swing the left leg forward and plant it in front. And as your arms come up, that back heel comes down for warrior one. See if you can get your quad parallel to the floor. And we're just holding ourselves up for a moment in warrior one. And then we're gonna go arms front and back for warrior two. Nice, let's dip back into reverse warrior. Okay, right palm is resting gently on the back leg. Left fingertips are reaching for the back of the room. Let's return to, to warrior two, arms front and back. All right, so let's straighten the front knee. And then what I want you to do is put your left hand on your lumbar spine and reach forward with your right fingertips. We're doing the twisting triangle pose to this week. Let's drop the right hand or right palm to the floor and reach up with the left fingertips. Okay, if you can, keep the left knee or left leg straight. If you bend it slightly, that's okay. But the whole point is to get the stretch on the left side. I mean, they're stretching everywhere here, but the left side is the focal point. Okay, let's hold it for three, two, one. You can bring the arms back to the warrior two position and then bend the front knee and get nice and low into it. And we're gonna undo everything we just did. So let's return back to reverse warrior. Remember those left fingertips are reaching for the back of the room. Let me scratch my head real quick. And then back to warrior two. And then let's swing that right arm forward and up for warrior one. And then as we exhale the arms down, that back heel comes up, plant both palms. Let's chaturanga down into an upward dog. And then back to plank, let's do our sun salutation, stepping the feet towards the hands. And then reverse swan dive until the hands are at the top. Swan dive down. Those hamstrings are feeling real good. Up to flat back. Exhale, let's round out the back. Plant both palms. Step back to plank and chaturanga down into an upward dog. Back to plank. Give me a push up here if you'd like. And into downward dog. Okay, push the floor away. Fingertips are spread nice and evenly. And then we're going to do everything we just did for the right side. So feet and legs together. Let's float that right leg, right foot up in the air. Let's swing it forward and plant it in front. And come to warrior one on the right. Front knee is tracking over the front ankle. 
Both arms are reaching for the ceiling. No bend at the elbow. And then let's go arms front and back for warrior two. Okay, remember if you want to check your warrior two, your hips should be 90 degrees from your mat. Shoulders are right above your hips. Add the arms, turn the chin forward. Let's dip back into reverse warrior. So don't put too much weight on that back leg. Right fingertips are reaching for the back of the room. Okay, back to warrior two. And remember, we're gonna do the twisting version. So you can straighten up that front knee, front leg, put your right hand on your lumbar spine, reach forward, the left fingertips, reach, 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 reach. And you can't reach anymore, drop the left palm down or left fingertips down and reach for the ceiling with the right fingertips. I'm gonna take another drink of water, you stay there. And then return my right arm and right fingertips to the ceiling. I'm feeling my right hamstring. You can turn your chin up and gaze up towards the ceiling as well. And we're gonna hold this for three, two, one. I'm gonna move my block and come on up. Arms are front and back. And then let's bend that front leg, bend the front knee, get low and into it. Okay, let's work those legs. And then let's dip back into reverse warrior, reach for the back of the room with those right fingertips. Back to warrior two. Let's swing that left arm forward and up for warrior one. And then as you exhale, let's bring the arms back down. The back heel comes up, plant both palms. Come back to plank. Let's chatter on the down into our upward dog. Okay, back to plank. Give me a push up here. Return to plank and then step the feet towards the hands. And then reverse swan dive. Hands are at the top. Swan dive back down. Ooh. And then come up to flat back. And then exhale, let's plant both palms, step back to plank. And on this chaturanga, I want you to slowly lower yourself until your entire body is on the ground. And from here, untuck the toes and place the hands underneath the shoulders. I want to do cobra. So push yourself up with the hands. Your legs can be on the mat. Feel your core, feel the front of your body. And to add to that, as you're pushing, 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 turn your chin and look up towards the ceiling. You should feel the front of your neck. Okay, continue to push. Feel your core engage. I hear it helps with riding your bike. Hey. All right, let's. Turn the chin to the left and look towards the left knee, or I'm sorry, left heel. Okay, turning the head back, looking straight, and slowly rotating clockwise as we look towards the uh, right heel. Okay, the front of our body is still very much engaged. And then turning the head back forward. And then you can gently lower yourself back down to the mat. All right, we're gonna come into a child's pose, take a little break. So feet and toes are together, but your knees are about as wide as your mat. Forearms are on the mat, reaching forward. Forehead or temple is in contact with the mat. Just relax your whole body. Breathe, you can close your eyes. Okay, I've slowly transitioned away from the halfway break. I think an active recovery for all there, we can do it. All right, so at this point, let's scoot forward slightly so you're we're going to do um, a thread the needle. 
So we're on, it's, our arms, are, our palms are still planted. We're gonna take our right arm and thread it through to the left side, dropping the right shoulder down to the mat. Let's stay here for just a moment, feel that shoulder stretch, reach a little bit further if you can. And then bring the right arm up towards the ceiling as we look up. And let's do that three times total. So that's one. Let's reach through, dropping the right shoulder down, feeling that stretch at the bottom. And then bringing that right arm up for two. All right, last cycle for the right side, reaching the arm through, shoulders down. And then last time for the right side, reaching up. And then as you bring your right hand down, just plant the palm out in front of you. Let's repeat the left. So left arm threads through, left shoulder is on the ground. And then as you exhale, rotate, open up the left side, reach up at the left. That's one. Okay, reaching through, left shoulders back on the mat. And then let's reach up towards the ceiling. Okay, last cycle. Thread the arm through. Feel the left shoulder stretch out. And then last time, the left arm reaching up. And then let's return to a child's pose. All right, let's do a cat cow. So you can come forward out of that child's pose. I'm gonna roll up my mat. It's hardwood floors. <clears throat> As I enter, get into an all fours position. I'm gonna do five breath cycles. Knees and palms are planted about as wide as your shoulders. And then inhale, head up, push the chest down towards the mat, feel the spine curve and then as you breathe out push the floor away push the spine towards the ceiling again untuck the back toes if you have them already and then inhale head up exhale head down inhale head up And exhale, head down. Okay. Inhale, head up. This should be the fourth cycle. Exhale, head down. Okay. One more cycle. So breathe in through the nose as your head comes up, your chest is down. And the last one, really make a count as you breathe out. Push the floor away with the palms. Pretend that you want to touch the ceiling with your spine. Okay. And then slowly return to the neutral position. I'm going to get off my rolled up mat. I'm going to flatten it back out. Then we're going to lie down. We're going to continue stretching our spine. So lying down on our backs, let's hug our right knee in. Enjoy that little stretch. And then let's take the right knee out to the right side. You should feel the inside of your thigh or your leg meets the rest of your body. Ooh. I don't know what that muscle's called, but it feels good. All right, let's return the knee back to center. And then let's pull the right knee over to the left side of our body. Right arm, right fingertips are reaching to the right as we look towards the right. Feel the spine twist. See if you can get your right knee to touch the ground at the same time that your right knuckles are touching the ground. I kind of feel this one in my glute too. Whew. And as you continue to exhale, continue to breathe, see if you can get a few more degrees of twisting, so long as it feels comfortable. Okay, we're here to stretch, not get hurt. That should go without saying, but 
you know. All right, let's take one last deep breath in on this side. And then as you exhale, let's bring the right leg back to center. And then we're going to say hello to the left side. So let's hug in the left knee, enjoying this little stretch in the middle position. Okay, you can give yourself a little pull if you'd like. And then just like the other side, we're going to bring the left knee out to the right side for a few moments. Enjoy that little stretch as it moves a little bit. Okay, bring the left knee back to center. Let's pull the left knee over to the right side. Ooh. And the spine begins to twist in the other direction. We're looking to the left. I'm trying to get my right knee to touch the floor. It's close. But I'm going to continue to exhale, relax, breathe into the stretch. All right, let's do two breaths on this side, two deep ones. So breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, one more time. Breathe in through the nose. And give me a nice long out breath. Okay, I didn't quite make contact with that side, but that's okay. I'm gonna return my left leg back to center. Let's do happy baby. So both legs are up in the air. My arms are the inside parts of my legs, but I'm gonna pull on my the outside parts of my feet. Okay, I begin to feel my inner thighs engage. And then I'm going to rock left to right, right to left. Okay, continuing the spine massage. We're really getting the spine massage, continuing to work our spine, get the fluids moving. Continuing to pull our knees in toward our underarms getting a little bit deeper into the inner thigh stretch as well. Okay. And then you can release your legs, bring them back down. We're gonna do thread the needle. So I'm gonna plant my left foot on the ground, bring my right ankle onto my left quad. Let's pull on the left shin. Okay, feel the right glute engage. Okay, you can pull a little bit more, relax the whole lower body. All right, and as always, we do three super long breaths because this stretch always feels incredible. So let's breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. One more time, breathe in through the nose, and then breathe out through the mouth. Continue to relax the lower half of your body, get deeper into that right glute. Okay, last breath for this side. Let's breathe in. And then give me a nice long out breath, blow at that birthday cake. Okay, as we get older, there are more candles, and it's harder to blow out all the candles. All right, and let's release the left shin and plant the right foot down. Bring the left ankle onto the right quad, and let's begin to pull on the right shin or the right hamstring, whichever feels comfortable for you. And let's repeat those three breaths. So. Breathe in through the nose and out the mouth. Okay, breathe in and give me a nice long exhale. Pretend that birthday cake didn't, or the candles on the birthday cake didn't all go out. So returning, breathing. Blowing out those candles. 
All right, last breath here. Let's breathe into the nose and out to the mouth. Then you can release oh, that leg. Let's do a little mini stretch here. So I'm gonna pull on my knees, pretending like I'm trying to pull my knees up towards my shoulders as I pull out as well. And it's that inner thigh stretch. Oh. I'm gonna hold it for three, two, one. You can release that. And let's sit on up. Let's get our hamstrings once again. Where's my block? I'm going to start the left leg extended. Right knee is toward, pulling in towards our soft tissue. We're going to flex the foot. I'm going to add to the block just for fun. Add the arms up top. And then as you breathe out, I want you to grab the outside part of the left foot with both hands. And you should feel a bonus side stretch through your right side. Let's let the right knee drop down to the floor. And continue to pull yourself in. Shorten the distance between the crown of your head and your toes. Okay. Hopefully by now our, our hamstrings are pretty open, pretty loose. If not, oh well, continue to stretch. I don't really care about your pain. It's good for you. Okay, continue to breathe out. Get a little bit deeper in the stretch as always. Maybe try to touch your nose to your knee. I can do it, but only just. Okay, we're gonna come out in three, two, one. Oh. All right. That left hamstring is starting to feel nice and open, but we're going to switch legs. So the right leg is out in front, left heel is in towards the soft tissue. Flex the right foot so the toes are facing the ceiling, the arms are up top. And then exhale over the straight right leg. Okay. Remember, I'm grabbing the outside part of my right foot with both hands, both thing, all the fingertips. The back of the right knee is still on the mat. And we're feeling the right hamstring. Okay, same thing. Bring the crown of the head towards the toes. Try to get your knee to throw your nose to touch your knee. I'm not quite as limber in this side, but that's okay. I try just as hard all the same, but I continue to reach, continue to pull. All right, give yourself one last pull with those fingertips. And then exhale as you release. Okay. Oh, we want to get both sides together. So quads, knees, shins, ankles, toes, all touching, feet are flexed, arms are up top. Give me a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, reach for the toes. And if your toes feel close, what I want you to do is continue to creep down your foot with your fingertips. See if you can get to your heels. Ugh. Okay, this, I want this to be active as much as possible. So continue to pull yourself down. Don't just sit there. All right, one last deep breath in. And then as you exhale, pull, 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 pull. And then release. All right, we're gonna do one last one. We're gonna do pigeon, and then we'll come into our closing sequence. So let's return to a push-up or plank position. 
So I'm gonna start with my right foot, plant it behind my left wrist, and then drop both knees down. So my right shin is 90 degrees in the rest of my body, untucking my left foot, okay, rocking, finding that position that stretches out. I feel that everywhere in my right side. Okay, resting your forehead or your temple on the mat. And as usual, we hold this one for about 45 seconds because it feels incredible. We're about halfway there, continue to settle in. We'll continue to hold. And I'll let you know when you come on up to add the last quad stretch. All right, so in five, four, three, two, one. Let's plant both palms in front of us and come on up and reach back behind you with the left arm pulling in the left heel towards the glute. Okay, feel the left quad stretch. Ugh. We're gonna hold it for three, two, one, and then release the left foot back down, plant both palms, return to plank, and let's plant the left foot behind the right wrist, and drop both knees down, untuck the back toes. And we're returning to the down position, going for 45 seconds. Ugh. And that left, the whole left side feels incredible. We have about 15 seconds left. Continue to hold or continue to pull yourself deeper into the stretch. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's plant both palms. Push yourself back up. Reach back behind you with the right arm. Let's feel the right quad stretch out. Oh, I'm gonna let go in three, two, one. Let go of that right foot. Let's return to our child's pose. Knees are as wide as your mat. Take in everything you just did. Oh. Nice. And come and come forward out of that child's pose and let's lie down on our backs. Okay. Do a body check, body scan, literally head to toe. See how you feel. Arms are at your sides. And we're gonna go for a minute. I won't say anything. Close your eyes. Lie as still as you possibly can.
All right, that was about a minute. Let's keep those eyes closed. Reach the arm overhead. Point the toes at the bottom. We're gonna do our morning stretch. Wriggling our body. Okay. Take your time as you roll onto one side and rest your head and face right on your hands. Take that moment for yourself. Whichever arm is on top, plant that palm and floor of the mat and push yourself as we return. Oh. Where was it from? Oh. All right, we're sitting up nice and tall. And close your eyes if that feels good to you. But let's lengthen up our spine and do our three audible breaths or ohms, whatever feels good for you. So let's breathe in through the nose and breathe out with some sound. Oh. All right, once again, let's breathe in through the nose and breathe out with some sound. Oh. All right, last one. Let's breathe in through the nose and breathe out with some sound. Oh. Okay, let's bring our hands to heart center. And you can repeat after me if you want to. May you have clear and kind intentions. Let's bring our hands to our foreheads. May you have clear and kind thoughts. Let's lower our hands to our lips. May you have clear and kind communication. And then we're turning our hands to our hearts. And as always, the light in me celebrates and honors the light in you. Namaste. Remember to pause your watch. Woo. Thanks. Thank you for joining. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely week. Have a lovely week. Bye. Oh, oh my goodness.